inside in the bath or wearing the inside uh, to the house channel. These are kind of irrelevant because we are exactly where we are. We know that we are being asked a question uh, on Friday as to whether we want to keep the Senate or not. And it doesn't matter whether uh, Enda Kenny did it for populist reasons or for good reasons. We just have to address and debate the question as it is. Do we want to keep this Senate? So the debate gets down to uh, the issue of Enda Kenny's motives and we're told that it's a power grab by Enda. Having been told for about 10 years by everybody that he was the weakest leader of Fine Gael ever had, but now he's done in jackboots and is being compared to Mussolini and he's trampling all over the constitution in order to take up, uh, in order to become some sort of dictator. Now it's a nonsense to think that this is a power grab. You can't grab power from an institution that has very little power. And then why would you do it when the institution that has very little power has studiously avoided trying to use the little power that it has had. So we know that the last time it rejected government legislation was in 1963. And I wouldn't mind if in 1963 it did it for, for a good reason. It did it because some Fianna Fáil senators got drunk and missed the vote and then the, and the, and it was rejected. They happily turned up 90 days later and reintroduced uh, the bill and it passed. And if it is a power grab, it's one of the most stupid power grabs I've ever seen a T-shirt do. And you don't get to be T-shirt if you're stupid, whatever you, uh, your opinion of Brad Kenny. The Shannon is a product of the parties. They love it. Political parties love it. I'm not sure why Emma Kenny wants to abolish it. I think maybe just a populist motion. But it is something that will weaken the parties in the dome. Getting rid of the Shannon will weaken the parties. Why? Because how is the Shannon used? The Shannon is used as a way of giving out jobs. If you're a TD, you think you might lose a seat, what will you do? Or you tempted to do what Motion Shaw told them, you jump ship, because that might get you re-elected. Well, one way you uh, party leaders have used to control their, their TDs is say, sit still, if you lose your seat, I can always get you back into the Shannon. It's a, it's a patronage power where people, <coughs> where party leaders can give out jobs and it makes governing easier for the Taoiseach and for party leaders. So it's not a power grab. And if it is a power grab, again it's stupid because why would you do it now? You should do it in two years time. What is, what is Enda Kenny going to achieve if we vote to abolish the undemocratic upper house? He's going to have a zombie set, Shannon with living dead senators who suddenly come to life and decide that they want to use the power, the little power that they have. They are going to cause him trouble for the next two years, we know that. So it's not a power grab. It would be idiotic for it to be a power grab. If this, is, if this uh, uh, referendum is passed, every bill will be guillotined through the door and the government will be able to act, will be able to rule by decree. That is a power grab. <coughs> So Enda Kenny isn't done in Japanese, but still we're told by people like you, democracy is <laughs> in danger. <laughs> now, I don't think democracy is in danger somehow. The Shannon hasn't offered any checks or balances. Uh, it, it doesn't use its teeth. And our democracy is strengthened by a couple of things. We've got a pretty good constitution which guarantees people's rights, guarantees democratic rights, <coughs> various human personal rights. We've got, happily, a very strong independent judiciary, which isn't a pushover for government. But we're told, oh no, we're gonna, we will lose all these independent voices. And, well, we do have constitutional guarantees, certainly. The rights of homosexuals uh, to, be, to be legal and free in this country, the rights of women to have just conversation in this country, all stem from brave people in the shadows, and that would not occur in Those rights were granted because of activity in the shadows. They were granted by activity in the courts. The <laughs> we are told we don't have independent voices. 
Now, look at this chant. These people aren't independent voices. Some of them, like uh, Senator Sean Barton, turned up, I'd say is a, a strong independent voice. But he's, he was more influenced as an advisor to TDs than he has ever had in, in the Senate. The, the independent voices. We see, in, we see real independent voices in the talk. Imagine Ming Flanagan, who wants to legalise uh, marijuana. He wouldn't get elected to the Shannon, he wouldn't have a hope. There's a guy, a Labour TD, out from Ballymun, a young gay man from Ballymun. Not a hope of getting into the Shannon. He got elected by his own people into the door. And the door, that is the greatest check for our democracy. Look back at the government in, from 2007 to 2011, or to 2010, really. As, no, sorry, as we realised that Fianna Fáil in fact wasn't able to manage the economy as it had previously told us, we then saw TDs dropping, pulling out support. What eventually happened? The government fell. That was a check on the government. They, were, they could no longer do what they wanted to do because TDs, the door and us, the voter, said no more. So, I don't think democracy is in danger. But we're not debating that because this side will say we don't want, we're not talking about the current shadow, we're talking about the new shadow, the reformed shadow. But we can do this. Which channel are you talking about? Did you, people here would have, would have seen uh, Michal Martin last night, extolling the virtues of the Queen's of Home Bill. And extolling the virtues of the Crown Bill. And presumably he likes his own, uh, Fianna Fáil's own proposals. These are different proposals. He likes three different proposals. Which proposal are we going to get? The likelihood is we are going to get none. Senators met between 2008 and 2010 trying to agree on Shannon reform. The only, the only thing the all-party committee on Shannon reform could agree that it was that it wanted reform. Beyond that, nothing. It couldn't agree on an electoral system, it couldn't agree on how it would be, how it would be composed, it couldn't be, agree on the electorate, it couldn't agree on its powers. So we're being asked to vote for a reform channel without knowing what it is. And the likelihood is, when there is no consensus, you will get no reform. Can you really see, after this referendum, if we are foolish enough to accept uh, the democracy matters line that we will get reform, what are the parties going to do? They're not going to spend time on, on reforming the Shannon. And if, even if we got a reform channel, do we really want one? Do we? There are a lot of bad reforms out there. We know that one house can